All right, week seven, Operation Football starts with a flashback to the final game of 2023. Westside wins its second straight state title, beating Elkhorn South 56 0 at Camp Randall Stadium. Tonight, it's the two unbeatens meeting again. Here's KETV Lauren Michelson with the monster matchup story from Phelps Field. Hey, Lauren. Andy, hey, I don't think anyone was expecting the scene here tonight in a game where Elkhorn South was hoping for some redemption. Westside came up big, pitching a first half shutout and offensively led by three Tay Tay Jenkins touchdowns. Both these teams entered tonight undefeated at 6 0. First quarter, first points of the night come off the boot of Everest. Shuslin, a 43 yard field goal puts Westside on the board as Westside grad and Husker kicker Tristan Alvano watches from the side. Later, Westside driving, but the Warriors fumble it and Elkhorn South's Gavin Shanahan comes up with the recovery. Elkhorn South looking to capitalize, but Madden Riggs is picked off by Quinton Warren, takes it 21 yards for the pick six, and the Warriors go up 10 0. Second quarter, Westside offense gets hot. Braylon Warren with all kinds of time hits Tay Tay Jenkins, who takes it to the house. A 76 yard touchdown makes it 17 0 Warriors. Westside ball again now after another interception. Warren, this time a screen pass to Jenkins with the physical catch and run for a 49 yard touchdown. 24 0 Westside now. The Warriors poured on from there. The final 45-3 behind those three Tay Tay Jenkins touchdowns. We're trying to work on getting the three peat, being a last year's team. It means a lot to be a part of this team to do that. And I love the team, I love the football players. They welcomed me good when I first came here. And yeah. Just very proud of them. I mean, our, our guys were locked in from last Saturday. Um, you know, they, they took this game very personal, um, and, and uh, you know, they just wanted to come out here and execute, um, but they really wanted to come out and play hard and physical, and they did that. With tonight's win, Westside is now one game away from setting a new Class A record of 28 consecutive wins, a record set almost 80 years ago by Grand Island. Andy, what a night. I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Lauren Michelson, reporting live at Phelps Field. Now, top-ranked Millard South keeps rolling. The Patriots jumped out to a 63-0 lead last night at halftime before Lincoln High called it quits. They didn't even play the second half. Millard South improves to 6-1, but 6-0 against team from the state of Nebraska. Senior night over at Millard North. Opening minutes against Kearney. Zion Rush finding Pierce Mooberry. Future Husker over the middle and fighting for extra yards. That would set up a 36-yard field goal by Alex Michaud. 3-0 Mustang. Getting, oh yeah, he had plenty of leg. Start of the second quarter, Colin Bogaz punching his way into the end zone. This one ends up going a triple overtime thriller with Carney winning 36-33 in three OTs. A couple of Monarchs turned Husker back. On the sidelines, Eric Ingerson, Luke Lindenmeyer. Final minutes of the first half, Bernard Newsom calling his own number for Omaha Central. QB stretching to the end zone. Eagles up 13-7. Third quarter then, it's Newsom again on a designed roll, finding Paydirt Central. Woo! Firing on all uh, cylinders. Fourth quarter, Kylon Haney. He's a Husker. Uh, he's got a Husker offer. Bouncing through multiple defenders. Eagles soar 27-7. All right, Omaha Benson hosting Omaha Bryan. Scoreless first quarter, Benson strikes first. Number 24, I am all for quarterbacks who wear numbers in the 20. This is Israel Taylor, number 24, the QB, eight yard touchdown, seven nothing bunnies. Bryan though answers, quarterback Alarion Russell. I'm all for quarterbacks who wear number one too. 52 yards to the house, Bryan pours it on 54-7, your final. A couple other Class A scores, Fremont beats Creighton Prep 21-14, Millard West all over Omaha Northwest. Class B, Blair upset bid comes just short. Uh, they fall to Seward and Gretna knocks off Platteview. Class B, Elkhorn coming off a big win last week against Elkhorn North. Antlers looking for another big upset against top ranked Bennington. Cade Matthews finds Peyton Turman. This one going inside the five. It sets up an Elkhorn touchdown. So it's seven nothing Antlers. Thinking upset, right? But no, it's all Bennington from there. Houston Hill to Cooper Johnson. 
35 unanswered. That's 46 straight wins now by the ben Bennington Badgers. Top five showdown in Class B at a packed house at Elkhorn Stadium. Elkhorn North and undefeated Scott. Skyhawks up 14-13 in the third. Wolves quarterback Ethan Beachy throws it up and look at this. Jeff Tanglehoff, beautiful, high points it. Elkhorn North up 20 to 14. The Wolves are leading there, but Scott's Dylan Van Dyke looks like he stopped, pulls up, and look at this. Throws to a wide open Leo Bailey, the touchdown, but Elkhorn North scores late. Wolves win 28 21. All right, halftime here on Operation Football. Up next, our fan favorite game for Calhoun at Concordia. But to take us to break, here are the Concordia cheerleaders.